Hey guys, FootballFan148 here, welcome to another video here on the channel. Now today we are reacting to the news that Reading FC have appointed Vajako Panuvic as the new manager at Reading. So yeah, I think he could be uh, interesting, I really do. And the owner definitely thinks highly of him, I mean... Look at this statement that Mr. Dai young -A has put out. He has said, With vast experience of top-flight football as both a player and a coach across Europe and in the USA, and with proven pedigree of successfully working with young up-and-coming footballers on both the domestic and international scene, I am confident Val Jacko can take this club forward and this has been a process and this appointment has been made only after long careful consideration. After meeting with him we found Val Jacko to be an exceptional candidate who impressed us immediately. I am sure he is the right man for Reading FC and I am delighted he has agreed to sign as our new manager. Now, this guy, guys, he is the son of, Bla of Blagoji Panuvic, one of Yugoslavia's 1968 European Championship runners-up. Vajako's playing career took him from the beginnings in native Serbia from playing with uh, Partizan Belgrade to the top tier in Spain, playing for uh, Atletico Madrid, over in Germany, playing for uh, Hanover 96, over in uh, Russia, over in Russia, where he played for uh, Rubin Kazan, Kazan, and in the United States, where he ended his career playing for um, Philadelphia Union. But this guy's career, he really is intriguing. Now, when he was 20, he helped Atletico Madrid reach the semi-finals of the UEFA Cup in 1998, knocking out Aston Villa on away goals, courtesy of teammate Christian Vera's winner at the Vicente Calderon Stadium, only to be narrowly defeated in the two-leg semi-final by Sven Goran Eriksson's led Lazio side that included Alan Boksik, Pavel Nedved, and Perluigi Tassiaji. So, yeah, so yeah, a few interesting moments there, but his managing career has um, been uh, really interesting. Now, he managed the Serbia under 18s, under 19s, and under 20 sides before moving to Chicago Fire in 2015. And then he, um, I'm not exactly sure if he got fired or if he left Chicago Fire, but anyway, he left them in 2019. So this will be Reading's, uh, this will be his first job at Reading. So, yeah, it's really in intriguing. Now, now, for the national team, I think he only played twice for them. He only played twice for Serbia and Montenegro because I think, his, I think he had one of those issues where it was, I think it's grand, I think it was either his parents were Serbia. <laughs> yeah, sorry guys. Either his parents were Serbian and his grandparents were Montenegrin, so yeah, yeah, one of those um, tricky times there. So yeah, really um, interesting, really interesting manager, I have to say. He's been a really, he's a really interesting uh, manager, this guy. Right, and also taking charge of the Serbian under-18s and under-19s, 
He guided Serbia to the final of the Under-20 FIFA World Cup in 2015, beating the USA in the quarterfinals and then Morley in the semi-finals, only to be only to be defeated by Gabriel Jesus' Brazil in extra time in Auckland to lift the to lift the trophy. So unfortunately, that is uh, um, a shame for him. Yeah. Now also his success. Really paved the way for returning to the US, becoming head coach of Chicago Fire in November 2015. Now he also, also this guy, he guided Chicago Fire to the end of the season playoffs in 2017. So definitely, so definitely I think this guy could be impressive at Reading. I think this guy looks like a certain manager that could be what we need to return to the Premier League. So, yeah, really intriguing manager. And, yeah, I'd like to wish him the best of luck as the new Royals boss. And we look forward to uh, seeing him at Reading. So, yeah, I think it's going to be an interesting... It's going to be a very interesting season, guys. But anyway, guys, thank you all very much for uh, watching this uh, video. Anyway, do you think this new manager could be what we need to get back to the Premier League? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, also like, comment and subscribe to the channel. And... Yeah, I'll see you in the next video. And also, guys, thank you all very much for watching the um, videos and everything. Um, yeah, I couldn't... Yeah, this YouTube channel will not be where it is without you, so... Yeah, I thank you. But anyway, guys, thank you all very much for watching this video, if you are going to be watching it. <laughs> But anyway, guys, I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.